First look at Android 11 AOSP build running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and guess what? We have an AOSP build of Android 11 for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now all credits for this build go to the super developer Abhishek because he was able to bring us an Android 11 ROM based on AOSP within two or three days of the source code being released. So this is how the ROM looks out of the box. As you can see we do not have pixel launcher and that is because there are no Google Apps package which exists for Android 11 at the time of recording this video. So one of the downsides of this ROM right now is that there are no Google Apps which you can flash. That might be a deal breaker for some of you but those of you who want to experiment or play around with Android 11 on your devices, this ROM is definitely smooth enough. Let us first have a look at the recents. So this is how your recents look like as you can see super smooth super fast and you do have the option of screenshot at the bottom you do not have the option of selecting text because that i think is dependent on pixel launcher and this build right here is running quick step launcher let us now have a look at your quick setting tiles so these are the different options which you have and if you tap on the edit button you can of course add some more tiles of course again because of the lack of google apps the ui does look pretty boring and old school then we can have a look at the volume panel this is how your extended or expanded volume panel looks like you can see that it is the compact version from android 11 and of course volume has been replaced with sound on top over here we can now try to take a screenshot as well so bam here it is working like a boss you do get the new ui for the screenshot and you also have the option of accessing the share menu from the screenshot preview and while we are in the quick share options if you press and hold on an icon you will get the option of pinning specific applications to your quick share as you can see the messaging application is now pinned and that is signified by this pin on the left of the alphabet m next up you do have the new power menu from android 11 as well so there it is that is how the new power menu looks like as for the baked in screen recorder yes android 11 does come with a screen recorder which will let you record your device audio and microphone at the same time and it does work absolutely fine however on this specific build the ui does get a bit laggy once you start the screen recorder as you can see the ui is a bit laggy and you do need to realize that this is an alpha build and things will smooth out down the line next up we can go into settings and check the other new features of android 11 so we'll go into wi-fi and network select our wi-fi's name select it one more time bam there it is you can see that in the middle you have the option to disconnect and you also have the option to auto connect to this specific wi-fi you have a toggle for that and this of course will be available for all the wi-fi networks which you have connected to then we can go into apps and notifications see all apps let us say we access the gallery application go into permissions over here also you have a new toggle which is going to remove permissions if this app isn't used for a specified amount of time now i'm not sure what that time duration is because neither google nor anybody else has told after how many days or months will the permissions be automatically revoked however if you do know about it do let me know via comments below next up you have conversations so yes you can set your priority conversations from here and you also have notification history along with the option of bubbles so for those of you who do not know what bubbles is this is something very similar to chat heads from facebook messenger and this of course is a new feature of android 11. moving over to the display settings you do have dark theme in the building working absolutely fine 
and you also have now the capability of scheduling your dark theme at a specific time in android 10 you only had the option of sunset to sunrise with android 11 google has finally added the option of a specific time as well then you have adaptive brightness you can of course adjust the colors and you also have double tap to wake working like a boss along with anti flicker mode both these options are working absolutely fine moving over to sound so in sound you have a new option in do not disturb so in, in do not disturb you can now configure your do not disturb on a people basis and app basis and alarm basis as well if you go into advanced you can also configure what you want to do when you use the quick setting tile to set up your do not disturb mode do you want to manually turn it off do you want to enable it for an hour or do you want to ask it every time you enable your dnd from the quick setting tiles next up we have security so in security your pin works absolutely fine fod works absolutely fine you do not have face unlock and you do not have screen of fod either but a thing which i noticed is that with the screen off when you press on the fingerprint area you do feel the vibration but the phone does not wake up so i'm not sure whether screen off fod is broken it is not fully implemented or that is a bug in this build we do not know that right now next up we can go into system and check out the gestures so you do have two different kind of gesture navigation one is your android 10 gestures and then you have the old school three button navigation you do not have the option of android 9.0 pi gestures and if you go into the settings for the gesture navigation you can now configure the sensitivity independently for the left edge and for the right edge as well and you also have front camera sound effects and of course the front pop-up camera does work absolutely fine we are going to check it later in this video while we are in system we can go into advanced and go into developer options you do have the option of wireless debugging along with a toggle to disable adb authorization timeout and if you scroll down you can now also display the fps on the top left of your screen there it is enable the toggle for show refresh rate and your refresh rate or fps will show up on the top left of your screen as you can see right now in my case it is 60. so now we can check the camera application so you get snapdragon camera baked in which means you cannot access your auxiliary lenses on this port right now the back camera works absolutely fine pictures are taken with no issues at all and the same applies for the front camera as well so we can try opening the front camera bam there it is you will see that it popped out it is a bit slow but it does work absolutely fine now another downside of this build is that as of now there are no gcam ports available for android 11 and anx camera doesn't work either in terms of the other hardware almost everything else is working absolutely fine the only thing which is important which you should know is that se linux right now is set as permissive and it does take some time for se linux to go to enforcing because the developers have to fix a lot of denials other than that wi-fi works bluetooth works calls work volt works camera as you can see is working double tap to wake works fod works so a lot of features are working and in my opinion this rom is pretty good it is not a daily driver right now for a lot of you because things are not available so you do not have google apps available then you cannot flash magisk on this build and root it because it is going to go into a boot loop and all of these things are because android 11 just got released and things are going to get better as days go by but right now this build of course it is pretty smooth there is no doubt about that you can see here the gestures are smooth everything works absolutely fine i personally did not find any jitters or any lags on this build but again it is limited in use because of unavailability of things so the future for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro with respect to android 11 custom roms does look pretty good and pretty dope to me
and there it is peeps that was our first look at android 11 aosp rom running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you